what's going on everybody welcome back to the dying scene record radar first episode of 2024 happy new year everybody uh we got a short but very sweet one this week uh a couple of big time releases we unfortunately missed out on uh due to the festivities and the two week hiatus i went on uh hopefully you got in on the action on these and didn't miss out on them though uh, up first, Lagwagon Trashed, 30th Anniversary, Repress, not really a reissue. Uh, this is a new pressing of the Deluxe Edition Fat did a while ago. Uh, I think that actually came out over 10 years ago at this point. Uh, the double LP version with all the bonus tracks, demos, and stuff. Uh, cover variant looks fucking sweet. I think they pressed like 500-something copies of this, but it sold out in a day. Fastest uh, a fat release has sold out in a while now. Common Rider, another. This is a very long-awaited reissue, repress. It's been remastered by Mass Giorgini, who uh, also played on the record, played bass in Common Rider and Squirt Gun and Screeching Weasel and a bunch of other bands. Uh, yeah, Common Rider, Last Wave Rockers. This has been out of print since '99. Uh, Thousand copies sold out in a few days. Good news is, uh, Asian Man is already getting a thousand more copies pressed. So, hopefully, those will pop up pretty soon here. Uh, Mike Park doesn't seem to like putting things up for pre order or uh, whatever until he has the records in his possession, which is good. Uh, but you'll want to hold out a little bit. Don't pay anyone on Discogs like hundred dollars for this or whatever there's gonna be more copies pressed just be patient uh teenage bottle rocket tales from wyoming not sure why this is being repressed uh there's no anniversary to celebrate or anything i guess they just wanted to get the record back in print uh 300 copies on hot pink vinyl looks pretty sweet uh i already have a different an old a first pressing of this so i'm gonna pass on this one but hey if you need it it's back in print now you can get it Josh Free's solo album with this horrible font. I forget what it's called, but it is terrible. Uh, the Notorious One Man Orgy. This actually has some pretty good songs on it. Uh, but uh, yeah, th I don't know how many copies. It's blue vinyl. Uh, apparently not a highly sought after release because it's been out of print since 2000. And it hasn't even been out of print, actually. They, they have copies on uh, Cleopatra Records here. They still have the first pressing on a picture disc, so I don't know if they found these or what, but you can get this a lot cheaper on Discogs. You can get it for like 25 bucks shipped. So anyway, new pressing, uh, new color, don't know how many copies. It comes out in March. Actually, probably worth, uh, worth picking up if you like Josh's drumming. Very good drummer, obviously. Needless to say, uh, Hickey. The Notorious Bay Area, San Francisco, whatever you want to call them, punk band Hickey. Three times LP live album collection box set thingamajigger. Uh, this looks pretty cool. I'm not really a huge Hickey fan, but if you are, this is a must-have. Uh, it's called There's the Right Way and There's the Hickey Way. Dead Broke Records has some copies. I These Hickey releases seem to sell out pretty fast, so if you want it, I wouldn't... Wait too long, it'll probably be gone soon here. Uh, Punk Rock Radar Records release, in partnership with these labels, Cat's Claw Records, Fast Decade Records, and High End Denim Records. The new Split LP from Old Chase and the Upshot, Showtime Split. Uh, 100 copies on this awesome hot pink colored vinyl. Um, I don't remember when this one comes out. Call an audible here real quick. February. So this comes out in uh, just a month. So two very good up and coming British punk bands. Uh, check both these guys out. Uh, the record should be pretty good. And uh, it's worth picking up from uh, Punk Rock Radar in the US. Uh, you can all the songs and stuff. You want to listen to these new songs from the stuff I'm going to talk about or Links to pre-order the records. Link in the description, dyingscene.com. Uh, up next, another new release from uh, 
Montreal, Quebec's, Quebec's, whatever you want to pronounce it, uh, The Speakeasy, their debut album, debut self-titled album, coming in uh, two weeks on uh, Thousand Islands Records. The record's not going to ship till March, though, so just fair warning there. Uh, yeah, this comes out in a few weeks. Uh, they got yellow, translucent yellow colored vinyl. I don't know how many copies. Should be a pretty good record. All right, and uh, last but not least, old reliable Green Day. Uh, <laughs> uh, the new record, Saviors. By the way, if you uh, your local record store is probably going to have a listening party for this album uh, a week before it comes out. I know mine is on uh, the 13th. Kingfish Records, this comes out on uh, the 19th, but they're doing a listening party on the 13th, so... I might I might hit that up if I get impatient. I really like all the songs from the album so far. Anyway, uh, this is the 21st color variant, or variant in general, of uh, the new record. 3,350 copies of this one with this long-ass fucking name. Um... Yeah, I mean, they're going a little overboard with these color variants. So this is number 21. This is number 22. Both announced the same day. Uh, this one is iHeartRadio exclusive, whatever that means. It's on the Green Day web store, so I don't know how that's iHeartRadio exclusive. Anyway, 1,000 copies of this one uh, on white vinyl. So this one's another one of these simple ones. I kind of like this, actually. I, I like... Uh, how understated it is compared to some of the other variants they have of this thing uh, and then this one's this tricolor split thing uh, whatever anyway there are 22 variants of this record now so if you're a Green Day completionist and you want to get every copy of this record then you are fucked um, you better take out a loan because holy shit dude uh, anyway yeah if you want a comprehensive list of all the variants of the new Green Day album <laughs> we have it. Uh, I don't think anyone else on the internet has wasted enough time to, to catalog this. Uh, I know you can see it on Discogs, I'm sure, once these are released. But right now, if you want to know all the variants... I missed this one, by the way, this picture disc. Uh, if you want to know every variant that exists of Green Day's new album, Saviors, DyingScene.com is the place to be one-stop shopping. I bought more of these than I care to disclose. Uh, I'm sure I'll show them off to show what a fucking idiot I'm at, I am when uh, they all start showing up. So, anyway. Uh, yeah, that'll do it for this week's Record Radar. Happy New Year again, everybody. Thank you for watching. If you want to buy any of these records, as I said before, link in the description. Uh, check that out, and I'll see you next time.